Hi hey everyone, in this video I'll be reading a fanfic titled Sneaky Friends, which is based on the show Marcus Tells Blade Bun Cat Noir. I hope you enjoy. Alright. So let's just start here. Where are we? There. So uh we're gonna start off with so Leba and Kanoir have both used their special power. Uh, Ladybug only has a minute before she detransforms, whereas Cat Noir has about three minutes. Cat Noir says stoppingly, Ladybug, wait. What is it, Cat Noir? says Ladybug. Ladybug hurrying him along, I'm about to detransform, so make it quick. Uh, Cat Noir begging, I want to see who you are under the mask. Uh, Ladybug currently detransforming by the minute. You can't know, says Ladybug. Uh, Cat Noir reveals, I can see you, Mari. Wait, how do you know my name? Says Mari. Whoops, sorry. I accidentally kicked the the stand here that I had my camera on. Okay, so alright. Mari just said, wait, how do you know my name? Uh, Cat Noir says, conditioning, I will answer that later, but first, was Adrian the reason you could never go out with me? Says Cat Noir. Was he the guy you were crushing on? Mari surprised. Well, yes, how'd you know? Because we know each other behind the mask. Or under the mask. What makes you so sure? And will you answer my question from earlier about how you know my name? Says Mari. In a few seconds, all will be revealed. In three, whoops, three, two, one. Um, Cat Noir has now detransformed. Mari surprised says, Adrian, you're Cat Noir? I can't believe my eyes. And Adrian in awe. And Mari, you're Ladybug? I'm shocked. Why are you shocked, says Mari. I'm shocked because I didn't figure it out sooner. You're a great girl, Mari, and so multi-talented. I'm impressed, says Adrian. Mari confused. How am I multi-talented exactly? Not only are you a fashion designer, but you save the world regularly. Thanks for the compliment. I, I've never thought of myself as a multi-talented person, says Mari, but I guess I kind of am. Adrian truthfully says, of course you are, Mari, and that's why I like you, says Adrian. Yeah, but probably only as a friend, nothing more, assuming the worst. Uh, Mari says, assuming the worst, sorry. Adrian shocked and disappointed. Is that what you think? Autocorrect is... What? Whoops. What you think? Oh, great. All right, I'm going to correct this. But in order to know what line I'm on when I, because I don't know, I'm going to bold that as like a bookmark type thing. All right. I figured that would happen. That's why I put it in bold. Okay, where is my... Where, did it, where is it? Mm-hmm, where is it? Where's that? Near my bold? It is. There it is. Okay. All right. Shocked and disappointed. Is that what you think? Okay. Whatever. Mari Is my finger slipped there? Okay. Once All right. Mari sadly admits, "Yes, we're good friends." Adrian uh, says hopefully, "I wish we could be more than friends. What do you think?" Will you be my girlfriend? asks Adrian. 
Adrian, are you serious? Asked Mari. Mari answers. I mean, sorry. Are you... Sorry, let me re-deliver that one. Adrian, are you serious? Of course. Adrian planning. Uh, great, then we'll go on a date after school tomorrow? <laughs> That's great. But let's keep our relationship a secret for now. Even from our friends. Why are you... Adrian asks, why are you embarrassed... Why, are you embarrassed to be seen with me or something? Mari assures, nonsense. I would just like to see how long it takes for our friends to figure it out. Do I hear a bet coming on, says Adrian? Uh, I wasn't hinting at that, but sure, says Mari. The bet will be which one of our friends will figure it out first. What's the winner going to get and what will the loser do as a punishment? I don't know yet, says Adrian. Uh, we can brainstorm for now. Fifteen minutes later. So, Adrian clarifies. So, if I win and Alia finds out before Nino, I get to use whatever pet names I want for you for an entire week. Yes, but if I win, you can't use any pet names for me for an entire week. Deal. Deal. Uh, Adrian and Mari say deal, and then they shake on it. So tomorrow, if there aren't any Akuma attacks, says Mari, and we don't have to stay back after at school, do you want to go on a date with me? I guess I re... Uh, whatever. I repeated that. Oh well. Uh, yes, at the Eiffel Tower, uh, says Adrian. Great, says Mari. The next... day at school in the middle of the day. Mari, do you want to hang out after school today? Asks Olia. Sorry, but I have a lot of homework to do after school. So maybe another day? Do you need any help with that? Says Olia. I mean, you miss a lot of school these days. Why is that? Says Olia. No, I don't need any help. Because I already have help. Okay, why do you miss so much school these days? Well, I don't decide when a, in a, uh, Mari, under her breath, well, I don't decide when Akuma's gonna attack, but I do have to save the world. Isn't saving the world Ladybug and Kanawar's job, says Alia? Did I say save the world? What I mean by that is, Hawk Moth is so inconsiderate. With the times, he chooses to akumatize people. Alia acknowledging, I agree. <laughs> I mean, when my twin sisters were akumatized, says Alia, it was pretty late at night. And I'm sure Laban and Kanawar have lives outside of being superheroes. Mari agrees, that's true, and your sisters are only five years old, right? Yeah, I don't remember how old they were when he they were akumatized, but... I'm guessing that was the age five-ish years old. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Anyway, oh, the story. Uh, Ollie says in agreement. Yeah. Meanwhile, with Nino and Adrian. So, Adrian, you want to hang out together after school? Uh, Adrian says, I'm sorry, but I can't today. Uh, what are you doing, says Nino. I'm helping someone with their homework. But I can hang out with you tomorrow, says Adrian. We never get to hang out anymore, says Nino. You're always busy. It's like you have a double life that you won't tell me about. Dude, what's up with that? Says Nino. <laughs> I have a double life. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I have a double life. And Chloe is nice. <laughs> so you're not living a secret double life, says Nino, that I don't know about? Adrian yells, no, I'm not. Nino re relieved, good. Later that day, Mari and Adrian are on their date, and high enough on the Eiffel Tower so that no one can see them. Hey, so can I meet your Kwame? <sighs> says Adrian. Uh, to Mari. Did I forget to introduce you two to the other day? Yes, but it's okay, says Adrian. Mari opens her bag and Tiki flies out. So this is Tiki. Adrian uh, says, hi, Tiki. Tiki waves, hi, Adrian. 
I believe it's E-N. Anyway, sorry. Adrian points out, I feel like I've heard your name before. Wait a minute, do you know anyone named Plague? Says Adrian. Yes, I do know him. Asks, uh, Tiki asks, is he your Kwame? Adrian lets Plague come out of his bag. Plague flirtingly says, hey, sugar cube. Plague, stop calling me sugar cube. You know how it annoys me, says Tiki. All right, I'll stop. Tiki accepts, thanks. I finally understand where Mari explains. I finally understand where you get the pet names you give me as Cat Noir come from. Adrian happily says, yeah, he has influenced a few of my pet names for you, says Adrian. That's cool. You know what? Plague being your Kwame explains a lot. What exactly are you referring to? Says Adrian. Well, Plague is never around for training, says Mari. Adrian confused. Training? For what? Uh, Mari reveals. Oh, Master Fu is training me to become the new Miraculous Guardian. So you're a student, a fashion designer, a secret superhero, and a guardian in training? How do you do it all and still have time for a social life? Mari says, it's challenging. Well, you're crushing it, says Adrian. Thanks, says Mari. Meanwhile, Alia is texting Nino. So, are you hanging out with Adrian, asks Alia. No, he had to tutor someone with their homework. That's weird, says Alia. When I asked Mari if she could hang out today, she gave me the same excuse. that, And that someone was helping her with her homework. What if they're, what if they're helping each other? Says Nino, theorizing. Yeah, but they both miss the same amount of school, so I would think, think they would ask us to help them. Don't you think? That's a good point, says Nino. There's something fishy going on here, says Nino. I feel like they're keeping secrets from us. Oh yeah, uh, plans. I got an idea. Why don't we surprise them and help them with their homework? Great idea, because they do, they do miss a lot of school, says Nino. So Alia went to Mari's place and Nino went to Adrian's place. Alia is now in the bakery. Hey, Sabine and Tom, says Alia. I'm here to help Mari with her homework. Sabine allows, okay, you can head up there. Alia is now in Mari's room. Mari, where are you? Mari, are you in here? Alia starts looking for clues as to where Mari might be. Ooh, her diary, says Alia. What was the combination? Oh yeah, Adrian's birthday in numbers. Alia unlocks the diary and reads it. OMG, she's living a double life. Meanwhile, Nino is at the Agress Mansion. Hi, I'm here to help Adrian with schoolwork, says Nino. He has a tutor for that, says Natalie. Nino lies. Okay, but Adrian told me today that he needs my help specifically with his homework, says Nino. Natalie, annoyed giving in. Fine, you can come in and help him. Nino happily. Great! Nino is now in Adrian's room. Adrian, hello? Uh, Nino then squeeze, squeezes his face in disgust. Oh my gosh, what is that smell? <sighs> Nino opens the, the Adrian's bar fridge where he keeps, where he, meaning Adrian, keeps the camembert cheese. Oh yeah, this uh, was so long I had to put it into two different notes um, because my notes app could only have so many letters or so many characters and letters or whatever uh, or words, so many words and characters. So that's why that was a note there. Anyway, let's get on. Okay. Wait a minute. So this is, um, so that's the end of part one. I, I'm sorry, I thought I had split it up, split part one up into uh, two parts there. 
Um, but no, this is the end of part one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching.